I was all at 19. That's when everything, that's when I started really taking things um, uh, really seriously. Wow, that's really cool. And um, so this idea of getting out of your show, did that, were you primarily focused on language learning at the time? Because I know there's this whole concept of, of social freedom and you want to be able to be social enough to, to talk to people, to talk, make new friends, to, to talk to a girl you might be interested in. Um, did this also extend to other aspects of your life or was it kind of like just narrowly focused on uh, trying to practice your languages? I, um, so it definitely did extend to a couple other areas of life because um, uh, I really wanted to work on just getting over my shyness in general. And I had this, I, I, he's still my friend now, he's one of my closest friends. He's a very outgoing guy. And um, uh, we would go out and do things like we go to McDonald's and then like uh, he'd just chat up the, the cashier and then they'd be having a conversation as if they knew each other for 10 years. And I was always like, how do you, how do, you do that? Like, how do you just approach these people? Um, and he was like, he, he always explained to me that he was, um, he would feel the fear and then he'd have to act on it because he would always say that if he let the fear of approaching people consume him, then he would never do it. So he would always do it to like kind of prove to himself, I can do it despite the fact that I'm scared. Um, so he really inspired me and he met a lot of interesting people and he introduced us to a lot of interesting people and he met all these people through just, you know, you know, just being at line at Starbucks and just saying, hi, how's your day going? Or wow. chatting with the, the worker at like um, at, the, at the electronics store when he was buying a new pair of headphones or something. So um, that inspired me to do it too. So, um, and I just saw how it benefited all the areas of his life. So um, I wanted to try and emulate the same thing and he, he really inspired me a lot. So, um, so yeah, um, I, I definitely did it for language learning, but just in general, just to, um, just to um, better my life in general. No, absolutely. And this is something that I was really paying attention to, let's say maybe 12 years ago, I wanted to kind of um, get out of my shell because I would describe myself as partially shy, but partially social. But there is that shy part that, you know, was always lingering and even to an extent is. So, you know, I would try to, you know, let's say if I saw a girl who was cute, I would just say, oh, hi, you know, I just wanted to say you're cute and my name is Mark. Because no matter what would happen, not that I did that a lot, but, you know, with the particular girls who I really wanted to meet, you know, it just made you feel that you're not dependent on, you know, social circle. You're not dependent on nowadays, you know, your phone, which is a thing. I have a friend that is basically just doing this now and his only goal is just to improve his confidence. You know, he's not interested in language, but it's definitely um, a nice thing, you know, and then you see people who, you know, maybe on the outside, you would think, wow, how can they do this, you know? But, you know, maybe because they're a little overweight or not so attractive, but you see that they're enjoying themselves and that they bring, you know, joy to other people. And you think, geez, I want a part of that. And I think exactly. it's really just such a, a positive thing. And I've seen you, I saw that you did something super interesting. You called it the, the Starbucks challenge where, yeah. well, why don't you explain this a little bit? I thought this was so interesting. So um, I heard about this challenge in, in, in a Tim Ferriss book. I'm pretty sure it was the four hour work week. Oh. Um, ironically, that's the same friend that, um, that really inspired me to start pushing my boundaries and to start talking to more strangers. He actually, he, he, he just came to my house one day and just dropped off the book and he's like, it's yours now. So I had no more excuse to not read it. So I read it, I learned about the Starbucks challenge and he talked about, so he talked about um, going to public areas and then you have to lie on the ground um, for, I think it was 30 seconds, and you're not allowed to tell anybody what you're doing. And then the whole point is because like, you're gonna go, people are gonna look and people are gonna judge, but you still have to act to feel the judgment and not let the judgment stop you from what you're doing. So um, I'm not gonna lie, um, the first time was hard. I, I walked around the mall, I did maybe like four laps, and then um, I was like, I can't do it. And I was gonna leave and then I was like you know what I drove all the way here I have to do it and then so the second you lie on the ground well first everyone starts looking at you like you're insane so, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was really scared they were gonna call security on me but um it seems scary until you're doing it once I was lying on the ground it just felt as much as it wasn't a normal thing to do it it felt like the most normal thing in the world like um you don't feel the judgment anymore um, the time just whizzes by and I ended up, it honestly gave me a bit of a kick, like a bit of a rush. And then so the original plan was just to do it once. 
but then I was like, this was amazing. I want to do it again. So um, uh, I went to, um, I started stepping up my game a bit. So the first time I was at the mall and the mall was kind of quiet. So it was scary, but not as scary as I would have liked it. Then the second time was at a grocery store. So it's a bit more busy. The employees stopped working to stare at me on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, one guy looked like he was going to call an ambulance and then um, um, <laughs> for the third one I really wanted to really step up my game so I went to um, a crowded Tim Hortons and the Tim Hortons was busy it was, um, it was lunchtime tons of people in there and I just walked in and I told myself this time I'll do it for 45 seconds if I remember correctly yeah. so I just laid down and then um, uh, I just started the timer and then um, the employees were staring again the customers were all staring um, <laughs> It was honestly, it, the third time wasn't even that bad. The first two times were pretty scary, but then the third time it just felt normal. Wow. And then um, it honestly really did help. Like it trickled down into the other areas of my life. And then just whenever I'd be like, I feel kind of scared. I would just imagine it's only scary before I do it. Once I'm actually um, doing whatever it was that scared me, um, it's not that bad once you're actually in it, if that makes sense. And then that's what the challenge taught me. It was honestly, I'm really happy I did it. And I'm honestly, I'll probably do it again. Of course, of course. You know, uh, something that you said earlier that your friend told you about, you know, feeling the fear, like there's this idea that I think is really nice. You know, it's, it says, well, feel the fear and do it anyway. You know, it's like, and that's completely, you know, the, on the right path. And you know, I heard another person say, like, everything that you want, everything that's good is like on the other side of that, that fear zone or that comfort zone. And it's so true, you know, because um, right now I live in Mexico City. And I would tell you one of the best things that I ever did was uh, ever did for my Spanish was to take university classes um, here, just like a, a student from Mexico. And I just asked if I could take the classes, if I could show up, participate. And um, first I had to go there to the class on the first day and basically like ask the teacher in front of like all the students and like every single time I would do this, like I would be nervous, but the result was they let me do what I wanted to do. And that was wonderful because, you know, I did that for maybe like a year and a half and you can imagine what it will do for your language if you are taking university level classes. I took linguistics classes um, for a year and a half. It like it transformed, it transformed my Spanish, I'm sure of it. And, you know, there were times where I saw the teacher there or the students there, or maybe I would feel nervous about like having to speak my Spanish in front of everyone. Not because my Spanish was bad, but I find that when you know that eyes are going to be on you, it adds an extra level of nerves. Like when I'm on the subway, you know, it's not that, oh, they're going to hear me speak Spanish and think I'm speaking uh, terribly terrible, but it's just like everyone's going to know I'm a foreigner. And everyone's going to look at me, and having all those eyes is a bit nerve wracking. But I if I didn't do that, you know, so many good things wouldn't have come from that. You know, I wouldn't have had a meta, a wonderful girl, had a great relationship, improved my Spanish, learned about linguistics, met people, had cool experiences. But it was all on that other side of that kind of gray zone, that fear zone. And so I completely relate to um, your journey, what you talk about and these things you do. Like when you did this um, Starbucks challenge, I, I felt like I was there with you, like, like almost if I, you know, were you and I'm like, oh my God, okay, I'm, I'm sitting down now, I'm lying down. Now. Like I, I, you took me through the experience. And even when I knew that you started to feel more comfortable, like I started to feel more comfortable so it, it was a really interesting thing. Cool. I'm, I'm really happy to hear that because um, uh, I was actually going through like the older videos on my phone and I just, I just came across that one and I was like, oh, I should, I should finish editing it. And then, just, and, and then, so I'm really glad that it, um, like it, that it, that it helped and that you were able to feel like you were there too and everything. So um, I'm really happy to hear that the, like the videos are, are having the effect on people that I'm, I'm going for. So that's super cool. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. 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 And I didn't get to ask you, but um, how many language are you many languages do you really speak? It seems like a lot. So um, my personal number would 